I've been collecting Pokemon for a really long time, and over all this time, I've gathered quite the collection. I know it might sound silly, but Pokemon has gotten me through all of the hardest times in my life, from losing my family to becoming a successful online content creator. I have always turned to Pokemon for every single thing. I'm really proud of my collection, and I would really be happy if I could show you all the things that I've found throughout the year. So join me while I show you all of my favorite parts of my very special collection. Hey, if you're new here, my name is AJ. It's so good to meet you. I'm going to be showing you my Pokemon collection today. I love Pokemon so much, so I wanted to show you everything and also give the whole collection an approximate value because I've never really done that before and I've been collecting since I was 12 years old. So let's try and figure out how much all of my Pokemon stuff is worth. I wanted to start off with my favorite part of my collection and also the biggest part, which is my plushies. And I have a few that are worth a few dollars. Let's start off with like the most expensive ones and then we'll do like a basic guesstimate of the rest. <laughs> so I wanted to start off with my most recent addition to my collection, which is my Pikachu Yokohama 2023 World Championships ramen pikachu that was a mouthful he is worth about 65 canadian dollars so he's not too expensive he's still so special in my heart we went to yokohama and we went to the championships but we weren't able to get into the pokemon store so i ended up getting him from a convention over here in canada same with this one this one is worth a little bit more he is about 130 canadian dollars look at how beautiful they're having such a good time together i love them <laughs> I have three more special guys from the same event then, since it was the first Pokemon World Championship in Japan, these are the first Japanese flavored Pokemon. Koko is eating an onigiri. Paxley has a bowl of matcha. Sprigatito has a dangle, I believe it's called. But these all together are worth about $300 for the whole collection. Now, I do believe that this is the most expensive item in my collection. If you look on eBay, it goes from about $500 to $1,000. And I actually picked it up from a book off in Japan for about $60. Uh, these two together are just a really special plush, I guess. I don't really know why. Um, and it still has the tag attached. And look at that adorable artwork. Next, I wanted to show off my Cafe Pikachu. Pikachus. Um, I have about five of these that I ended up collecting from Book Off in Japan. I never actually went to the Pokemon Cafe, unfortunately. But each of these are worth about fifty to sixty dollars. So five times six is thirty. So about three hundred dollars for all of my Cafe Pikachu. This is my Sky Tree Pikachu. You can only get it in the Tokyo Sky Tree um, in Tokyo. He's worth about seventy dollars. I have two of these Statue of Liberty Pikachus, and they are worth about sixty dollars each. Here's a video of them kissing. And they were both girls. Pikachu's from the World Championships in 2022 from England. He's about $100 now. I actually can't find this one on eBay, so I'm gonna assume he's about $100. Look at how sweet he is. He has his little, his little Mew amulet. He's ready to go be a very professional businessman. So I was in Japan when they dropped this release and I know he looks like a really like boring, normal Pikachu, but I promise he's not. He's part of the My Pikachu collection. They put out this collection of recycled material Pikachus and they all had a different expression. So if you wanted one with like a really specific expression, it was really hard to get one. But this one, he's got a really boring expression. He just kind of looks a bit disappointed. I think he's worth about $100. I can't find an exact listing on eBay because there's so many of the My Pikachu collection, but I'll never sell you. You're perfect, I promise. Even though you're so disappointed in just existing. I am too, I feel you. This is my Station Pikachu plush. He's worth about $60. You can only get him in Tokyo Station. And look at his adorable little jacket. I love it. So I also have these guys, which I'm going to round out to be about $40 each, just because some are 15, some are 60, some are, so around $40 each. And I'm gonna count it up. And here's the number that we are at so far, just for Pokemon plushies. Next, I would like to show you some of my favorite cards from my collection. First, I'm gonna show you these two Ionos that I pulled from the same box. They used to be worth $1,000 for both of them, but now it's more like 130. That just kind of happens when the price drops, but I still think they're really pretty. 
and I'm happy to have them. Next, I have Erica's Invitation and a PSA 10, which did used to be about $1,000, but now it's more like 200. Prices kind of dip, but I'm hoping that it goes back up later because she's a pretty girl, and so a pretty girl cards so that the price should raise later, hopefully. And I think that this is honestly my most expensive card that I own, which is really silly. But this is my Festival de Champion. If I grade it, it's going to be worth at least over a thousand dollars if I get it in a PSA 10. But this is going to be uh, around two to seven hundred dollars. Really depends on how great condition it is in. But it is in French. I think it's really cool, and I love, I love the doof. He's like my favorite guy. Unfortunately, the rest of my Pokemon cards are actually away because I'm packing to move out of this place, but I think I could probably sell my entire binder book for about, uh, I don't know, $2,000 if I tried. Um, yeah, no, I don't have like the most impressive collection, but if you ever want to see it in like a month when I've moved, comment down below, tell me if you'd like me to go through my collection of my Pokemon cards and I'll tell you exactly how much I think it is. But right now, in my brain, I think it's about $2,000. Now, I do want to give an honorable mention to my first ever thing that I ever had in my Pokemon collection, which is very near and dear to my heart, which is this. Pikachu. He's nothing special. He came from Walmart in like 2012 um, when I was just a wee Pokemon trainer. And my grandma got him for me and I was so happy when she showed up with him. Thank you, grandma. R.I.P. I have another one that is also very special to me for like the same reason. Because on the day that she passed away, I got this little guy and I carried him around with me for like four days just so I wouldn't uh, be alone and so I could have something to hold and to keep me strong. Both of these guys are priceless in my heart. So, so far in this video, everything that I have shown you is actually worth about 5,660 Canadian dollars, um, which is quite a bit considering that we haven't gone through my entire collection. Today, I just wanted to show you my Pokemon cards and my plushies, uh, and I will be back soon to show you the rest of my Pokemon collection. That includes miscellaneous things like stamps that I got from train stations or things to wear or cosmetic things or sealed product as well that I collect. I'm, I'm a big sealed product guy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you choose to subscribe. We have a really cool channel here. I, I, sh I post things all the time. I'm really taking it seriously now. And if you would like to check out my other content, Check out my Instagram in the bio. Uh, there's good stuff on there. Alrighty. See you later. Bye-bye.